Hello, everybody. This is Georgiana and Meredith from Creativity for Kids. And today we are going to bring you the glow in the dark hair cord wrist lifts. So let's get started. Thank you, Georgiana. And thank you, Felicia. So as Georgiana said, we're here doing the glow-in-the-dark paracord wristlets, and they glow in the dark amazingly well. So I can't wait to do this with you. Thank you for joining me. Let's go ahead and open the box and see what's inside. So on our table, I have a couple bracelets that, or wristlets that I've already done. And I'm actually wearing a couple as well. So they're very big and chunky and so fun to wear. And um, I think it's they're really easy to make as well. So I think everyone's gonna enjoy this class. All right, so after you empty out your box, hold on to your box because you're gonna need it for crafting. And we'll set it aside here for a second. We'll get to that. Okay, so we have our instructions. We have all these amazing paracord, um, pieces of paracord. We have our glue, our scissors. We'll open these up. And in this bag, it's labeled the glow in the dark cords and buckles are um, set aside here. So we're going to put those to one side. Now, these are really easy to tell apart because the glow in the dark cords are blue and you can actually test it out by charging the cord, holding it up to a light, which charges the cord. Same with the buckle. So if you hold the light or the buckle and the cord up to a light, it will charge them. So when you turn the lights out, they will glow and it's so cool. So at the end of class, I think we're gonna try and turn out the lights so you guys can see our paracord wristlet glow. Something else about this buckle, I just wanted to point out. Now this buckle, it's a little bit bigger than the other buckles that you're given. And the reason is because this is a special buckle that's also a whistle. So this part right here, if you were to blow right in this little opening here, it whistles out. So it's just another kind of fun little feature for these paracord wristlets that um, it's pretty neat. Um, you can try it if you have this kit at home and if you're following along with us. Now, if you do not have this kit at home, that's okay. All you need are some little buckles like this. So there's an opening on each side and it's a, a little click type of a buckle like that. And you can use, if you have paracord, if you don't have paracord, you can still follow along. If you have a string, some kind of thin rope, even a heavy yarn, you could do this. Um, and I would recommend paracord if you have it, but any of those items will work as well, just to get some practice in until you can get some paracord. So, all right. Let's put all of this to the side and look at our instructions. Okay. So if you want your paracord wristlets to glow, you're going to want to be sure to include this light blue cord as well as one of the other cords that you're given. These cords, although they're really bright and colorful, they do not glow by themselves. So I just wanna point that out. And that's actually listed in the instructions as well. Okay, so we'll open up our instructions actually right here. Your workstation. So this is why we're holding on to the box. The box is the workstation. 
And all you have to do is take your pair of scissors and you'll see on the side of the box, there's a perforated area. It kind of looks like a little T. So you're gonna take your scissors and kind of just poke around the perforated area. You can open it back up. And take the little T out. So this, you can throw away. But this here will now be your work station. And what's really easy is, is if you hold your box between your knees and that will give you, um, your knees will hold onto the box so the box will stay steady as you're um, knotting your bracelet, your wristlet together. Okay, so let's get started. So prepping your wristband. We're going to use just a regular um, clasp to start with rather than the whistle clasp. So it says to select two paracords. So we're going to do one of the glow in the dark paracords. So this blue one. And how about, mm, ooh, this orange. So we'll use a blue and an orange together. I think that'll look cool. And just unknot them like that. Okay. So now what we wanna do is just undo your clasp. And the part that looks like it has the little teeth on it, we're going to feed our cord through the front of it. And kind of just leave a little bit of a tail sticking out like this. Now we're gonna take the orange and do the same. Okay, so we have our two little tails and I'm gonna kind of pull them so they're equal like that. And the long parts of our paracord are on top of the clasp area. Now you will need some tape because you're gonna tape the two pieces of paracord together, just like this. And this is just so they stay in place and um, you don't have to worry about them coming off of the class. There you go, just like that. Now we're going to rehook the other side of the clasp, just like that. And we're going to pull the two ends of the paracord through this part of the clasp. And this is kind of long, so we'll go all the way to the end and put one through. And the other one through. Just like that. And just pull it all the way through. So it's a little bit easier to manage. All right. All right, now we're going to open up the instructions. 
And this is where we're going to use the side of our box to hold things in place. So we're gonna unhook what we just did. So we are unhooking the clasp and our paracord is still in between the two clasps as well as the big um, tail right here. Now I am doing this um, on a table rather than like between my knees. So I actually cut the side of the box off so I can tape it to the table to show you guys how this is used. So we'll move our instructions out of the way. And what you're gonna do is take the class that does not have the teeth on it and just feed it through the side of the box and turn it. So now the side of the box is actually holding our clasp in place. Now I'm going to tape it down here so it doesn't move. But all of you who have this kit at home, um, you can, like I said, hold the box between your legs and it will stay in place. The next thing you want to do is line up on the side of the box. You'll see the bottom class with the teeth is right down here. And you can see the paracord goes right to that class, just like it does in real life. So we measured out about seven inches of cord, of paracord, and that's pretty standard for the size wristlet that we're making. But if you have a larger wrist, you might need to make it a little bit longer. Or if you have a smaller wrist, you can make it a little bit shorter. But we're gonna keep it just like it was measured out about seven inches and just matching it up with the picture on the side of the box. Okay, so now's the fun part we get to start knotting our paracord. So in our picture here, you'll see that the cords are numbered. So the cord furthest to the side, this blue one is number one. The other side of the blue that's through the clasp is labeled number two. The orange cord next to the blue cord is number three. And then the loose orange cord is number four. So we've numbered it in the instructions to help you keep track of which cord you'll be knotting. But since we're doing this in person on, on this class right now, I'm gonna put these to the side and just show you guys how easy this is. All right, so you're taking your cord all the way, the left cord, the furthest cord to the left, which is our blue cord. And you're gonna go over the middle two cords like that. You're gonna take this loose cord that's all the way on the right and go over our blue cord. So it should look like this. So we have, and I'm gonna do it again. This is how we started. We have our blue cord that's loose on one side. We have the two cords together in the middle and then our orange cord on the other side that's loose. So what we're gonna do is we're starting with our blue cord and we're gonna go over the two middle cords I'm gonna hold it like that so you can see it's over. And then we're gonna take our orange cord and go over our blue cord. Now we're going to take our orange cord and go under all of the cords 
and through the loop that our blue cord made and kind of tie it together like that. So our blue cord is kind of like um, the leader. Our blue cord is now going to weave to the other side. So we're gonna do exactly what we did, but this time on the other side. So our blue cord, he's gonna go over the middle two cords and under the orange cord. And our orange cord is gonna go under all of the cords and through the loop of our blue cord, just like that. And our leader, our blue cord, he's gonna do the same thing again. So we're making that loop. We're going over the two middle cords and under the orange cord. And now our orange cord is gonna go under everybody else and up through our loop. Now you keep doing this until you go all the way to the bottom. So before I continue on, I'm wondering, do we have any questions? And if you have a question, you can put it in the chat. Let's see, Georgiana, do you see any questions or comments from our friends out there? I don't see anything, but we didn't hear a slow and steady wind the race. <laughs> ah, okay. Nice right. and slow. Nice and slow, right. And it is easy to get confused if you're doing this for the first time. So watching over and over or like we are recording this so you're able to pause it if you're if you watch it again you're able to pause it and rewind it. Um, if you have any questions on how I prepared our paracords or um, what my hands are doing right now. So it is helpful um, if you need to go back. But we'll just keep going. And there is some fun facts in the instructions about what paracord was actually used for because it wasn't always just used for bracelet making or wristlet making. So once you get the hang of it, it does go quite quickly. And having something like the box, or like if you don't have this kit at home, um, something else that could hold your, um, your clasp in place, would just be a piece of tape and you can just tape the class down onto um, your table or maybe you can um, have a friend hold it and take turns. You are given plenty of paracord. So this is actually a really fun activity to do with you and your friends or like a brother and sister or brothers or sisters or cousins whomever you like to create with. I do have a question. Okay. I noticed that the bottom class keeps rising up. Mm -hmm. Is there any tip to keep the bottom class steady? It's okay that the bottom class is rising up because I do keep needing to raise the bracelet or the wristlet up in order to feed the orange um, cord underneath everybody. So if, you, if you're if you not comfortable doing that though, and you would like it to stay in place, I would just recommend putting a piece of tape over it. But in crafting like this, it's a little bit easier to be able to maneuver 
the paracord underneath um, with the bottom being loose? But that's a great question. Good observation. Now we have a um, technical question for you. Okay. <laughs> what is the name of the knot you're doing? Oh, I am not sure. I think there is a name to it. And maybe we have it in the instructions, but I'm not quite sure offhand. Let's see. I think Georgiana is possibly doing a little search for us to see if we can figure that out. But that's a really great question. Let's see. I'll just keep going and we'll get back to you. Now, you'll notice that I'm coming close to where we taped our paracord. And when I first did this, I was like, uh-oh, what do you do when you get to the tape? Well, it's easy. You just go over the tape. <laughs> so you just keep knotting your paracord right over the tape, and it doesn't um, affect your bracelet whatsoever. And I would say maybe two more knots and we'll be done. I did a little digging and it looks like the knot is called a figure eight. Oh, well, that's fun. A figure so you're eight. making a figure eight. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weaving back and forth like a figure eight. Yeah, that's fun. Okay. Well, what a great question. And we all learned something new today. All right. So we're at the end. Um, our figure eight knot knotting is complete. So what we um, say to do next is trim your cords. And use your glue so the knots don't come undone. You're just going to glue where the two cords meet. I'm going to remove it from our side of our box and show you a little closer. So that's where I put the glue on this side. And if you don't want your paracord to um, fray, you can put some glue over the tip of your paracord as well, like that. Just kind of use the tip of your glue bottle and just add some glue and kind of smear it around on the where you cut the paracord. And now on this side, I'm adding glue right here and here as well. And this way it will stay a little bit better. Just like that and like that. Now, um, drying time will vary. So we say just to be safe, let it dry overnight. All right, so let's show you what this looks like when it does glow in the dark. So I'm gonna hold it up to the front, to my light up front. And I'm going to <laughs> hold it right up in front of my face. Um, I'm charging. I'm charging the cord this way. And the light in front of me is super duper bright. So it should get some good charging right now. Okay. Let's turn off the lights and see how well this glows. <gasps> yeah. Look at that. So all of the blue cord is what you see glowing. And I can show you the cord that I didn't use. It's also glowing. So these glow really, really well. This is a bracelet that I did before. So you can see all of it glowing really well. And this is what the whistle clasp looks like, which is also glowing. So. All right, let's turn our lights back on. 
So that was really, really um, quick and easy to do, but I've done it a couple of times. So if this is your first time, don't get frustrated. It's okay. It took me about mm, three bracelets to be able to do it um, as quickly as I did. And it was very, very cool to see how well it glows. There you go. So to wear it, you would just put the clasp together on your wrist like these. All right, so it looks like we have a little bit more time. So friends out there, is there a color combination that you would like to see? We have some colors here that you can choose from. We have our two glow in the dark. We have red, green, blue, black, white, yellow, black, white, and gray, and this turquoise with green and purple in it. So friends out there, what color, color combination would you like to see this bracelet? We have any, any recommendations? I'm voting for the darker blue with the black with the hint of blue. The darker right next, yep, those this two. one. Okay. And the glow in the dark or just these two? Those two. Okay. So this beautiful royal blue and the black with the royal blue and the white. Yeah. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Georgina. No problem. <laughs> All right. So we're going to start again, guys. And if you did not catch everything we were doing from the get-go, this is, we'll do it again so you can see. So just un. Wind your paracord and it's wound up really nicely. So when this kit came out, my nephew and his friend, they did this kit and they had plenty of wristbands to share with their other friends. And it was quick and easy for them as well once they got the hang of it. So here's our paracords. And this time, I think we'll use one of these cool whistle um, clasps. So like we said in the beginning, we're going to be let's see, I wonder, using the part of the clasp with the teeth on it and just put your um, paracord through. So this one is a little bit different. There's two openings. So you, you're gonna feed the end of your paracord through the bottom one and then through the top one. So the tail is like this. So a little bit of the tail sticking out just like that. And then we'll do the same with this cord. Just through the bottom and then through the top. And make sure that they're pulled about equal. So I'll show you. They're about equal. And then take a piece of tape and tape it all together. We want the long tails on the top and the short tails on the bottom. And we're gonna just tape that together.
So if you do not have this kit and you're using yarn or rope or something of that nature, um, you can go to Michael's and browse around to see if they have any paracord that interests you to make your own paracord bracelets or brace, uh, wristlets. All right, so we've taped our ends together and now we're going to clasp the clasp back together just like that and then feed the other ends of our paracord through the other end of our clasp. And you don't want the cord to get um, tangled up. So try and keep it as straight as possible or kind of away from each, each paracord away from each other. Uh, and up and through. All right. Now I'm pulling it just like that, just to make sure that they're equal. So we're going to unclasp. We're going to put the whistle part down here at the bottom. And the top will be the part of the class without any teeth up here. So that's what I'm going to feed through our box. Oh, and actually I did it backwards. So you want to make sure that the two loose pieces of paracord are on the top. Just like that. So here's the two pieces of paracord that have the clasp on it. They're closer to the box. And the two loose pieces are up on top. All right, so here we go. We're going to start. So we're taking our black, the loose black paracord, and we're going to go over the two middle pieces of paracord. And then the blue paracord is going to go over that black paracord and back around everybody and up through the loop. Just like that. So now our, our black paracord is the leader. Um, there you go. It moved a little bit. Okay, so we're going to take our black paracord, go over the two middle paracords, take our blue paracord, go over the black one, and back behind all of them and through the loop. Just like that. So you'll know you're doing it right if you start to see this little pattern here. So um, like our our blue goes over the two orange and then it goes over the two orange on this side and it goes over the two orange on that side. And if you keep going down your bracelet, you'll see the blue goes over the orange. If you don't see this, then you might have um, knotted it differently. And even if you do knot it differently, that's okay. It just won't look the same um, as the rest of your bracelet. So our black cord is the leader. We're going to go and make a loop, go over the two middle ones, take our blue cord, go over our black cord and behind everybody and up through the black loop. And then on the other side, same thing. So 
So it's going wiggle, 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 back and forth, back and forth. Now this one doesn't have any of the glow in the dark paracord in it, but it does have the glow in the dark class. So that's still pretty fun. And um, like I mentioned earlier, this one does have a whistle on the class. So if you do have this kit at home, you can try that out and see how the whistle works. And I actually tried it out before class and it works really well. Oh. So yeah, you're given enough to make, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. You're given enough to make six multicolored wristlets. And I don't know if you noticed, but when I was done making our wristlet and I cut the cord, the extra cord off, there's a good amount of cord left. So I had this much cord left. So you could probably figure out something to do with that cord as well. All right, we're getting to the tape. So again, you're just gonna go over top of the tape doing the exact same figure eight knot that we've been making the entire wristlet with. All right, I think about three more knots and we'll be done. One. Two. And three. There we go. All right, so we'll take this one off. I'll take my box off so you can see the back end here. Oh, actually, I think we can kind of scoot our knots up a little bit and do one more knot. Yeah, we have room for one more knot. And even though I don't have it tethered down to the side of the box, I can still hold it in place. So there we go. Okay, so just trim each side. Like that. Like that. So again, you have all of this paracord left. So you can use it to make another bracelet or wristlet, or maybe you want to make a keychain. You could probably make a keychain with this amount. And then let's add our glue so it doesn't come undone. And if you are worried about it coming undone, you can glue it first, make sure that the glue dries, and then trim your cord off. So I'm gluing it on both sides and on the tip where we cut the paracord off. And we'll let it dry for overnight and it should be all set to wear in the morning. So this is our awesome glow in the dark paracord wristlet kit. Okay. Friends, do we have any questions out there?
I see a question. Could we hide the endings underneath? You might be able to, although you might need some kind of a tool or something to poke the ends of the paracord underneath the loops that you had made. So maybe the, like the end of a pencil or something like that. But um, what's easier is to just cut them off and then just glue them so they don't come undone. But that's a great question. And if you can do that, that, that sounds like that would work too. Now, all of you who have made some bracelets or some wristlets out there, I would love to see um, what you've made and your color combinations. So you can always hashtag creativity for kids on our Instagram or go to our Facebook page and have um, an adult or older friend take a picture of what you've done and put it up on our Creativity for Kids Facebook page. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm so happy to be able to craft with you doing our glow in the dark paracord wristlets. And I look forward to the next time we craft together. Have a good day. Bye-bye.